Um, it's probably from this morning. There's a good color one there, it's green. You can feel that it's still wet. And uh, if you see the two drag marks here, that means it was a territorial black rhino male. Because what they would do is, after they defecated, they will scratch open the dung with their feet. And then as they walk, they'll leave a scent trail behind. And the female and a non-territorial male will also use these dung middens, but they will not open it up. And then that territorial male... Just behind you, there's dung people with it. He's rolling it, yes. yes. <laughs> and um, then that male will come past again, and then it's able to smell whether that female is in Easter's or not. Down. Now the green dung beetles, that's the emerald dung beetle. The bigger ones are the African dung beetle. This is also again a, a different dung beetle species. We've got about 400 in South Africa. Yeah. You can see there he's busy pushing the ball. So it's the male that will push the ball <laughs> and then he will secrete a pheromone and that will attract the female and that female will lodge herself to the side of the ball. And then they'll roll the ball to a suitable spot, dig a hole in the ground, they'll mate, lay one egg inside of it and then uh, they go back and find another heap of dung. Start all over again. And every now and again, once they start to, to roll their dung, you'll see the male will climb on top of the ball. He'll turn around twice or three times, and then he'll go down and push the ball again. And that's because they determine the direction by using the sun. So that'll determine where they want oh to roll it to. Like but um, you see the... the can you end up one here as well as on the ball? Oh yeah, a teeny ball. <laughs> right, the, uh, because this is black rhino, obviously black rhino is, is very aggressive and very dangerous. Right. 